GPS provides the fastest and most accurate method for mariners to navigate, measure speed, and determine location. This enables increased levels of safety and efficiency for mariners worldwide, but it must be used properly. There are many makes and models of GPS available. The more you spend, the more features and functionality you'll get. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the model you're using. It is worth it. Familiarize yourself with the GPS antenna and the associated cabling. Protect them from damage. Familiarize yourself with the buttons on the GPS set and what they do. Familiarize yourself with the menus in the GPS. Only a nautical chart will provide the details of depths and navigational hazards that assist in selecting the waypoints. After you have selected the waypoints avoiding the hazards and providing an economical route, carefully note the latitude and longitude of each waypoint and sequence. The latitude and longitude coordinates of the selected waypoints are either entered or uploaded to the GPS. Your route is now entered in the GPS and can be saved for repeated use. It is easier in the 21st century to overlook the significance of the time displayed by the GPS. Time has always been important in navigation and now we have all marine craft displaying identical time. GPS displays the antenna's location in latitude and longitude. In the 21st century, there are always multiple satellites above the horizon at most places on Earth, so the display is always a position fix. This position fix is being updated by computers as the boat is progressing and the satellites are orbiting. So at any time, the latitude and longitude coordinates displayed on the GPS can be plotted on a chart to show the antenna's location. Another useful GPS feature is the course over the ground or COG feature. This is where the computer calculates and displays the actual track of the boat based on its recent positions. If the course over the ground is significantly different from the course that the GPS calculated to be followed between the waypoints, the boat is likely being affected by an external force, like wind and current, or the helmsman is not doing a very good job. Another useful GPS feature is the speed over the ground or SOG feature. This is where the computer calculates and displays the actual speed of the boat based on its recent positions. If the speed over the ground is significantly different from the speed that you would expect from your engine in the sea conditions, the boat is likely being affected by an external force, like wind and current. Another useful feature is the bearing to waypoint feature. This called BTW on some sets and BRG on others. The GPS provides the user with a direction or bearing of the next waypoint from the boat's present position. This useful for when your boat has drifted off the intended course line. Remember the course line is the direction from one waypoint to the other. The GPS is telling us the new direction of the waypoint from where we are now. A useful feature of GPS is cross-track error or XTE when we selected our waypoints, we decided to pass our course line one mile from a submerged navigation hazard. Now that we are executing the passage plan and monitoring our progress, the GPS will tell us how far off the course line we are or how close to that navigational hazard we are. 